Hi, and welcome to Astronomer, the best place to run Apache Airflow. Today, I'm going to show you how you can get started with a free trial with Astronomer to show you how to run Apache Airflow in the best possible manner. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to our website at astronomer.io and hit this Get Started Free button. Then what you'll do is just fill out this login form to set up an account, and I'll meet you over at the workspace homes that will pop up after you're done. Now, once you're done setting up, you'll be greeted with your workspace home. Now, a workspace in Astronomer is a grouping for you to manage multiple airflow environments, bring in team members, manage role-based access control, and give you a high-level control plane to really get a bird's eye view of all of your airflow environments from prod to dev. Now, you could watch this five-minute demo video to show you how to get everything set up, but lucky for you, you're in this video. Um, so what we're going to do first is to get started with Astronomer is create our first Apache Airflow environment, which is referred to as a deployment. So we'll go here, hit, hit this Create Deployment button, then give our deployment a name like New Airflow, choose a standard or dedicated cluster, which cloud provider we want to use, as well as which region. Then you can choose to use the Celery or Kubernetes Executor, and then choose some advanced settings, like whether you want to enforce CI/CD controls, you want to have high availability or DAG only deploys or a development environment that hibernates when you're not using it. You can set all of these from the deployment creation screen. And then once you're done setting everything up, you can create a new deployment and a new environment of Airflow. Now, once your deployment has fully spun up and you agree with this healthy operational sign, what we're going to want to do is actually deploy some code into our Airflow environment. And you're going to want to do this via GitHub Actions and our application for GitHub Actions. This is a feature that we've developed to help teams more easily follow SDLC best practices. So here you can see all the different steps needed to set up a GitHub repository. I'm going to follow through these steps, and then I'm going to show you how you can use a repository to actually deploy into your Airflow environment. So now within your GitHub repository, what you're going to want to do is go to the action sidebar and then click on this Astronomer CI deploy code workflow. Then what you'll wanna do is click run workflow here, and we're going to need to get our deployment ID, uh, which you can copy from the form I showed you earlier into this field. And then you're also going to want to click the second button to generate an API token that you can use here within for the Astro API token. Then I'll click run workflow. And now what this workflow will do is build my code as a Docker image and then deploy it into my Astro environment. So what we'll go is do is go back to our Astro deployment and watch it deploy. Now, while your code is deploying, you'll be greeted with this deploying icon to let you know uh, that new code is being pushed into your Airflow environment. Uh, you'll see Airflow is unavailable this time, so we'll wait for this to become healthy again in about a minute uh, and then show you our code that's been deployed into our Airflow environment. So now it's healthy again. We can see that it was updated by a GitHub action. And now we can open our Airflow environment to actually look at our Airflow deployment. So now here within the Airflow UI, you can see our initial DAG here, just a simple DAG that is querying and transforming an S3 file. Now let's say we want to create a new DAG. Well, the first thing we can do is go to the Astronomer registry to get a pre-cut template so we don't have to start from scratch. To do so, we'll go to registry.astronomer.io and then go to the DAG section. And I'll search for a Snowflake DAG. Once I've chosen a DAG, in this case, I'll just use a simple EL pipeline. I can download it or copy the code, so save it. So now here, I can go into my DAGs folder and I can add the file that I just downloaded. So just drag and drop it in here from the repository, commit the changes. And then I can go back to my actions page and push a new commit uh, to deploy the code, which you can see because there's a change to my main branch, it's gonna automatically deploy that code into my Airflow environment. Now to actually use this DAG, I'm going to need to set up a Snowflake connection. So to do that, I'll go to the Astronomer Environment Manager and hit Create New Connection. Then I'll go enter my Snowflake connection details. So call this Snowflake default, my username, my password, and all the other details I'll need to connect to Snowflake. Then I can create the connection 
and link it to my deployment that I just created, new Airflow. This will allow this deployment to use this Airflow or connection without me needing to actually manually add it to that Airflow environment. And I can link this Airflow connection to as many deployments as I'd like. Then I can go back to the deployments menu. Now we can go back into our Airflow environment and run our new DAG. So now we're in our hosted Airflow environment. We can go click into our simple Snowflake DAG and see that it has run perfectly with the credentials that we provided through the Astronomer UI. So this is your full journey to getting started with Airflow on Astronomer. See you on there.